The late night sky on Tuesday had stargazers in North America seeing red. What people were looking at was a moonlight spectacle, often referred to as a blood moon, but it was actually an astronomical event called a lunar eclipse that made the moon appear red. Total lunar eclipses occur when the Earth is positioned precisely between the Sun and a full moon. The moon passes into the shadow of the Earth and takes on a reddish glow because of the sunlight refracted by the Earth's atmosphere. Even though, from the moon's point of view, the Sun is blocked out by the Earth, the Earth is surrounded by this atmosphere that scatters the light from the Sun. Now imagine yourself on the moon and the sun is behind the disk of the Earth, that circular horizon of the Earth is outlined by this beautiful red glowing atmosphere. And that's what illuminates the moon during the eclipse. The moon passes between the sun and the Earth about once every month, but a total lunar eclipse is far less common. Because the moon's orbit is tilted, it's rare for the full moon to be positioned just right so that it's totally covered by the Earth's shadow. Complete lunar eclipses when they occur are only visible from certain parts of the world. The last one in North America was in December 2011. Over the next year and a half though, North America will get to see four consecutive complete lunar eclipses. Tuesday's eclipse kicked off the rare phenomenon called a tetret. The next series of four total lunar eclipses is scheduled for 2032 to 2033. On Tuesday, the moon turned a radiant red, but blood moons come in different shades of red and their color can provide clues about things that are happening on Earth. Every eclipse is different. This color that the moon turns in the sky, how dark it is or how light it is, can be dependent upon a number of things, including the nature of what's going on here in our atmosphere. For example, a number of years back, there was an eruption of a volcano in the Philippines called Mount Pinatubo, and it dumped an immense amount of ash into the Earth's atmosphere. And with the total lunar eclipse that occurred after that, the moon was exceptionally dark. Sky watchers can catch the next lunar eclipse in October of this year and two more in April and September 2015.